Yellowstone National Park is noted for the geothermal marvels, but it is the threat below ground that holds the attention. Events such as the Black Diamond Pool explosion and current seismic activity at Steamboat Geyser remind us of the park as a volatile place. This article reviews the Yellowstone's spectacular hydrothermal activity and its scientific importance. Perhaps the greatest shock of 2024 was the hydrothermal implosion in a black diamond pool at Biscuit Basin. This incident carried steam, water, mud and rocks to heights of several hundred ft in the air, shaking the park and raising the alarm. Although no one was hurt, the impact of the blast revealed the random character of Yellowstone steam features. The blast was caused by liquid water turning to steam in the substructure pipes and spewing out a potentially catastrophic eruption if people were standing just a little closer. Though hydrothermal explosions such as this are common in Yellowstone, the scale of the Black Diamond Pool eruption was extraordinary. Less frequent explosions with craters up to 10 feet in diameter occur on a few occasions a year and are generally not reported since they take place at night or in the wild. This item reminds us of the unpredictable power of Yellowstone emphasizes the ongoing reporting and preparation in such an interesting space. Prior to the 2024 Black Diamond Pool eruption, Excelsior Geyser in the Midway Geyser Basin was one of Yellowstone's most effective eruption sites. This geyser first became active in the late 1800s, and its eruptions sent water and rocks soaring up to 360 feet into the air, accompanied by massive clouds of steam that could be seen from 100 miles away. The explosions were so powerful it produced violent earthquake shaking and blew away the walls of the geyser in each blast. The frequency of these eruptions was astounding, with intervals as short as one hour, and they often lasted several minutes. These spectacular displays were powerful enough to cause a substantial increase in the river flow of the surrounding areas and park managers felt that the geyser deserved the study name, Excelsior, because of the majesty of its eruptions.